a day in the life with Ali. It's a my life experience here. So where's Ali? Yeah, I'm in the forest. I've been out here for hours. I'm just trying to figure out how to get back somewhere so that I can charge my phone. But while I was walking, you know, you get a moment to just think and freely think, right? And I'm out here in this open space and saying to myself, it's like no boundaries, but hi. You know, we have no boundaries out here, but we do because there's some areas that you can and cannot go into. And while it's great to kind of be boundaryless, it's important to know how to set and maintain boundaries. This is just something I have been piss poor at, you know, for lack of a better term. I've been piss poor at this and um, okay, this is starting to look familiar. I think I've been here before. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, follow, follow. I don't know. I'm just in this joint. Okay, so anyway, I realized that, you know, there are times where I'm great at setting them, but I've lived so much of my life conforming and affirming for other people. And quite frankly, I'm tired of it. Um, I think that's why I'm here. I think that's why I just abruptly quit my job. Um, it wasn't really abrupt. It actually was planned. It just didn't, wasn't planned like this. But I'm happy I did it. Because 49 years of not really saying no when I wanted to say no. And I did. I did a lot. But not when it truly mattered. Right? And to undo some of those cycles, y'all, is so much harder than it seems. And so I wanna just tell you guys, it's okay to set boundaries. It's okay to have a sacred space, to want some solace for yourself, to not let people back in, to manage via energy sources what you feel. It's okay. Um, too many times, you know, there was negative energy. I felt it, but ignored it, right? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and um, I wish I wouldn't have, you know, because a lot of times when you ignore your, your own energy, you're doing something that you really don't want to do. Now, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, but I think for me, the biggest issue was, you know, learning how to manage. I think I go, huh. I'm gonna go to gate A. So we're gonna go this way. Okay, two kilometers. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah, this is right because I did make a right into the forest. We in the forest. But not setting hard no's and partly because I was boundaryless. How many of y'all can relate to, you know, I'm open. I'm, you know, that have an open mind. Have an open mind with limits. Your own limits and those limits being what you will and will not stand for. And what I realized is, is that I didn't like a lot of things, but I was allowing myself to be kind of herded into it. You know, like, herd vaccine, never mind. Um, and then I spent so much time trying to make it work or adjusting from that or growing from that. And one of the things I try to tell my son and young people is don't wait until 
you're like finished, you're exhausted to say, okay, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do something different. Be open. Nothing wrong with openness. Be open. But know what you want or what you don't want. That's what I'm going to say. That's one of my favorite things is, is, you know, I think we spend so much time trying to narrow down, you know, that list. What's on your list? What's the things that you, you want in life? You want in a relationship? You want in a job? But I think it's almost easier to just jot down what you will no longer stand for. Huh? That's got to be a monkey. What, what you will no longer, I feel like I'm in... What's that for us in San Francisco? Um, anyway, what you won't stand for, what you refuse to deal with. And sometimes if you that list comes to you from the things that you've experienced. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to experience something and be like, mm, you ain't doing that no more. But stick to it. You know? Um while I am a free spirited person, I love to just explore. I also love comfort. I like having, you know, there's certain things that I like in my space, my way, um, you know, comfortably things that I've, um, you know, become accustomed to or that are familiar because those become my base. So then I can just be free around that space, right? Relationships are one of those things. Um, jobs, I will hold a job forever. I'll stay in things forever, longer than I should. And homes, um, you know, I like a base. I like to have, you know, to know that I've got a, a good space underneath me somewhere I can, I've got good energy. I can kind of unrobe without feeling subconscious, you know? But around that, I like to be able to kind of start to pick and choose what's really working for me and what isn't. And so I just, this is, I'm just walking, talking. And that's just, I just thought of that when I was sitting out here and I'm like, we're in a boundless place, a boundaryless place, but it still has boundaries, right? And that is okay. You know, it's okay to set boundaries and be boundaryless at the same time. Y'all, so anyway, I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you guys got something out of that. Hopefully you enjoy this beautiful scenery out here in Nairobi. It's beautiful. And um, you guys, hopefully you will subscribe to my YouTube and check me out. Um, with my, I have my updates and things like that. So when you subscribe, you get a little ping when I post a new video. And I'll see you guys later. Y'all know the drill. Doodles and noodles. Peace and hair grease. Excited. I'm smiling ear to ear. I have made it to the Kalura Forest in Nairobi. And you can walk through this entire forest preserve. There's animals. You guys, this makes my this makes my heart sing. <laughs> 